Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft, The Lord of the Rings. And in today's episode we are continuing down the desolate, lonely road of the Lone Lands. And hopefully in today's episode we won't get ambushed by about 3 million wargs. And stuff like that. It, it looks like we've got all our proper names back now. No stupid Scotlands and the twirly whirly bunnies or whatever we were doing last episode on April Fool's Day which is good uh, this bridge seems rather unnecessary uh, but yeah the thing is now we're still missing our mattock and I mean we have the death pouch but we are still missing our mattock completely and utterly because of some bandits and I hope we don't run into any more bandits this episode so my, my issue really is can we make another mattock out of anything? Uh, uses orc steel, orc steel. Now let's go for good bad. See, they don't have mattocks or anything, and that's also good because I just realised that we won't be able to craft anyway because of how badly the Gundabad hate me. <laughs> Gundabad, really really dislike me because of last episode and all the wargs because I definitely slayed quite a few of them but yeah hopefully in this episode we make some good progress and where's the sun at it's just about to set so we'll we'll uh, find a camp out and uh, sleep a little ways off the road and hopefully not to die to any orcs or orcs or anything like that because that wouldn't be any good whatsoever. But yeah, I was just having a look at the map. And I think I think we'll go this way and just bypass Troll Shores a little bit when we go down into Rivendell. Then when we cross this, we'll go straight through Mirkwood here. And then pop up to the er uh, pop up to Erebor and then down. And then follow the river into the uh, Woodland Realm and then out of Mirkwood. And then we'd rejoin this road down here to follow it down Dogledore, other way for Lothlorien. And then meet down in the Brownlands there. So basically that's my plan for now. And then we go down into the Brownlands, explore all around here and get into Mordor. And then we'll go out along there and stuff. Oh god, it got dark quickly. But yeah, uh, let's set up under this tree here. There we go. Is that a house or something off in the distance? Or am I just making things up? Could have sworn I saw something. No, I'm making things up. Okay. Well, that's always good to know that you're making things up. But yeah, that's sort of my vague plan is to make my way through and then up and then around and down. And then, yeah, I think that's a fairly fairly good plan. I don't think there's any need to go up into Angmar at all. In fact, I'd rather not go into Angmar. So as soon as we come out here, we'll just follow this down. Well, maybe probably past the Gladden Fields, if we feel like it. When we're down here, we can go to Dolgledore back, Lothlorien. You know, and then actually we could travel over here, out of the region. Then followed down through the gap of Rohan and along. Yeah, I, I prefer that route. Okay, so there is a little bit of backtracking in the future. But that's nothing we haven't done before. And I mean, it's, it's good. It's a good. It's a good idea. And I mean, we could skip out on some of the back uh, backtracking just by cutting cross country. Because I mean, if we're going out here and we're going down to Dolgledore and then across, we could just cross country through Mirkwood a bit. Just go straight down through Mirkwood, but that's quite a long um, trek. Or if we come out here and go down, just follow uh, the Anduin down into Lothlorien, and then across into Dolgledore, that would save a bit of backtracking. But yeah, that's all for future episodes. Definitely not this episode. This episode is solely focused on getting through the Lone Lands. And uh, in my audiobook that I was listening to, you know, The Lord of the Rings. 
Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, I've just got past the bit where Aragorn and company are traversing the Lone Lands out of Bree, trying their best to get to Rivendell. And I mean, I can see their their, their torment and stuff. And uh, I also just played my Lego: The Lord of the Rings series. I did the Warg Attack quest. And that very much reminded me of last episode, <laughs> where, I mean, we didn't just have one warg attack, but I think we had two warg attacks, one Gundabad invasion, and two or three, alright, two or three bandit things. And yes, I know Gundabad have launched an invasion nearby. Okay, it's over there. Hopefully we'll be able to take them down and get some, get some useful things. Depends how, depends how badly they invade. So only have three arrows. I'm always scared to go close. Seems to be relatively safe. Didn't really hear anything about them launching an attack. Quite good. Okay, yep, they launched the attack. They launched it quite vividly. And now flashbacks from last episode are happening as to why I got so annoyed at this. Right, all the wolves are gone. Now just for these Uruks. Okay, there seems to be an archer. Which is good because he'll drop arrows. Use his friends as cover. So if he drops his pickaxe, so I could use a pickaxe. Rook's gone. Definitely very injured. There we go. Thankfully, he did drop some arrows. A few, but not not that many. Right, let's let's eat some lembus bread. Start healing up for wave two of the invasion. <coughs> yep, there's definitely more coming. A lot more coming. Archers. Are coming. <laughs> He's got poison, so we don't want to be hit by him at all. Okay, my idea is get rid of the poison and get rid of the archer. <laughs> Get rid of them all eventually, but priorities are poison the archers. Alright, there we go. We're getting somewhere, that's good to know. We've got four arrows. Come on, there we go. There are still more coming, eh? We ran out of space for bones. Is that it? No, it would explode if that was it. So now we wait for more. Or do we just escape? I say we just escape. Oh no, no, they're here. Okay, so we've got a banner bearer, a spear thrower who threw a spear somewhere over there. Doesn't seem to be anything else too deadly. Bear is down. These orcs are so easy. There we are. Orcs down, come on. Only a few more horns left, surely. Yep, okay, there's quite a few. Okay. It looks 
looks as if we're going to have to go to the with these guys. Don't want to use the pyros, but the pyros are really useful against orcs. Because I can usually take orcs quite well. They're really not dropping anything, though. Are they? Like, nothing useful apart from orc draft. Orc draft. Surely there's not many left. No, there's still a guy over there. <coughs> Enjoy your last breath, Scarlet. <coughs> you will. And we got a key mortal pickaxe. <coughs> and we seem to have a few perks in this thing. But at least we got a pickaxe now, that's good. exactly what I needed. Don't know what Keen does, we'll have to check in a minute when they've stopped invading me. And we got poison, that's really not good. Okay, it's, it's literally lasted a little bit. There we go. Some of them are black wargs, we're out of arrows freshly. Hopefully this archer guy will drop arrows. Okay, kill the archer. There's a lot of them. How are there still more? The horn's blown loads. Okay. That's a lot of orcs that I need to take care of. we keep kiting them and knocking them back. Who's, who's the one with the bow? The one with the bow is bad. Just keep knocking them back and the arrow. And if we keep knocking them back and slowing them with the hammer. There we go, they're going down. We drop something. Okay, now I'm poisoned, which is a time to run away. I've got a lot of archers. Okay, just knock, knock the weak ones back. I think that's it for the orc invasion, because if it's not, I'm not even going to do the rest. Okay, now there's just a lot of archers. In fact, too many archers. Run from the archers. Get up to the road. Don't need to eat Lembus food. What have we got? A fur hat? No. 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 That in there. Okay. Right, I think I think that many No, oh, they're still coming. Oh, you dropped a book. Alright, we're taking them down slowly. Alright, get out. Get out. Oh, it's time to go. And, and it's still there, the invasion thing. Okay, heal me up a bit. One one hit and I'm dead. One hit and I'm dead. Come on, heal up. What book did we get? Already had the book. Great. But we got some arrows. Okay, good. Okay, we got rid of most of them. Right, so I got rid of, I think, all that we wanted to get rid of. Right, I'm leaving. I don't care if the thing's still there. That took far longer than it should have. My hammer is almost gone. But what does Keen do? Plus one melee damage. That's not what we need in a pickaxe, but it'll do. It'll definitely do. Belong to Ugrat. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. And worse than my mattock, but my mattock got stolen. Note to self: there, if there are any more invasions, unless it's something worth doing, just run away. And if it's bandits, make sure you kill them before 
they steal everything. But yeah. The Lone Lands are intense when they keep launching invasions on you like that. I mean, to be fair, one traveller like me against that many orcs in such a short space of time. I'm basically the best in Lord of the Rings ever. I'm getting very low on this armour. And I'm a porcupine. Oh gosh. Well, oh, it's houses. It's houses. Hopefully we'll be able to pick some stuff up there. Some useful stuff. This seems to be a village of some sort. Hopefully they're friendly. There's another house over there, but I think we'll ignore that. I think we'll just go for this village. There's a house on a tower. Because I really want to cross Wilderland. Not Wilderland, Lone Lands. And it's taking a while. And I don't think I'll even do it in this episode, so it may just be another Lone Land episode. Not sure, but anyway. Let's have a look here. You seem to be friendly. If you're an enemy of, a range of the rangers, you are a friend of ours. Well, I'm not an enemy of the rangers, but... Okay, don't eat any of that. You got absolutely nothing. This one, on the other hand... Still relatively nothing, just a, a little bit of iron, which is always useful. Don't know why they aren't attacking me if if I'm an enemy. If, if like they're saying I'm an enemy of the rangers, seems to be like something to do with Angmar. Which you know I'm not. Food pouch, food pouch. That's the workstation pouch. Food pouch. Oh wow, I've got a full stack of bread. Nice. Well, yeah, they seem to be friendly towards me, even though I'm not an enemy of, enemy of the Dunedain. That is always good to have. Oh, it goes in the death pouch. Forgot about that. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you. Where did you come from? Oh, and now they're attacking. Right. Keen Angmar Polax and Coal. Right, note to self, they aren't friendly anymore. Note to self, let's run away. <laughs> right, so it took me to actually attack the orc that was camping out in one of their houses and started to attack me. In order for them to realise, oh he's not good, let's attack him. Which makes not very much sense, but you know, doesn't matter a whole lot. We're going as fast as I can across the Lone Lands on foot. I mean, maybe if we find a horse we'll tame it, but they're still really laggy for some reason. But still, there's a lot of action in the Lone Lands. It's not so lonely as you would have thought. There's loads of orcs everywhere, hillmen. We live in wooden huts. I mean, those huts are quite cool, and having a set of huts right on the road is not great, but there seems to be a ruined house here. Nothing useful in it. But still. Something over here as well. I hear orcs. Some sort of altar of some kind. Interesting. Interesting indeed. See, as much as I love the Lone Lands, <laughs> it's a bit boring. I mean, now we're going into a wooded area, bandits are probably going to be more likely. That's why I keep seeing moving things in the trees anyway. But yeah, still. It's definitely a bit of a weird place. And I love just having this series to just run. I, I guess it's yeah, it's, I guess it's a role playing series. I've never really done one before. Where I'm just exploring the world as this guy. Stealing things. And 
killing things and being friendly, whilst also taking supplies from my friends without asking, because you can't really ask very well if no one speaks, unless through text. Seems to be some red trees over there, maple trees. Which look nice. In fact, that red forest is kind of cool. Oh, Lembus Red. And there's a ranger tower over there. So that will be a cool thing to see. I mean, they usually don't have much in them, but if it has arrows, they'd be much appreciated. Because arrows are something that I really badly need, as you can probably tell. Just from the fact that I have three. And three arrows is barely and it is not even enough probably to take down an orc with any sort of armor so I need a few I need a few more especially if another invasion gets launched on me because those guys don't seem to give up All right. why have you how have you got a horse up here that's what I want to know I don't know why it's up here. How is it up here? Did it climb the ladder? And two apples. Take a ball, but not what I need. Yeah, how on earth did they manage to get a horse up in the ranger tower? Doesn't make any sense. I'm very confused, to be completely honest with you. Oh, we're going into the Red Forest. It's kind of cool. Certainly looks cool. Well, I say going into the forest. I say it. I meant briefly skirting the outside and a couple trees. Seems to be another ranger outpost and tower. There's nothing in this tower. Two ranger. I can't be bothered. Honestly, as much as they may have arrows in them, they're just a pain to go up and down for a couple arrows or a couple apples. It's usually what they have. So I'll wait to come across like a ranger camp or something which I can quickly raid without having to go up and down ladders. Because, you know, I'm on, I'm on a strict budget, not budget, I'm on a strict time scale. I need to get out of the Lone Lands relatively soon. I can't do that if I keep having these detours. So for now, and if as long as there's no, uh, actually, we'll go for this stuff because there's a house next to a ranger tower. But as long as it's close enough to the road and isn't too distracting, I'll go for it. You're not one of the hill hillmen. So plus one. Oh, I thought I meant plus one to the Rimdar hillmen. That made no sense. String is useful, nothing else is. Oh, that should go in the death pouch. And it's getting dark, so we will bed under the ranger tower, uh, up in the ranger tower tonight. No horses up this one. Good day, rangers. It's just me, stopping by, getting nothing. Mostly, right, well, we will bed the bottom of your tower then. There we go. Let's sleep. Camp out under the tower. We don't travel by nightfall in these lands. It's too dangerous. So we just have our straw. Straw bed. There's the path. Ooh, right. I heard drinking. But we are in a forest, so it's kind of nice. Let's hope for no bandits. So I hope, I hope to all hope we're making some good progress. Let's plant a sapling right there. Right, we're going into a more hilly area now. We've made decent progress. I uh, come to think of it, we're almost at the last bridge. In fact, we'll definitely reach the last bridge by the end of the episode. 
And next episode we'll be able to get into Troll Shores and Rivendell. Which will be nice to see. Will definitely be nice. Now, I'm wondering whether to do these episodes a little daily. Or not. Just because I have time to do them daily. But I doubt they'll get watched daily. But they do love to be watched. So I may, I may do more episodes of this. And then schedule them to come out at 12 for the next few days. Uh, which I think will be quite cool. Because I already have some daily series going out. And with all of the time of the day to record, edit and upload videos. Uh, I will be able to do this one a little more daily as well. So yeah, why not? Why not uh, release this a little... Uh, a few episodes daily of this. I know you guys will still watch them. Because you love the uh, Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. And I've already been told that someone uh, from uh, Minecraft The Lord of the Rings has gone over and started watching Lego Lord of the Rings. And they love that as well. So it's good. It's very good. And I love this terrain. Wow. Yeah, for some reason, this sort of terrain with just hills either side is really nice in my opinion. Reminds me of places. Seems to be some sort of a fortress up here though. Not a fortress, then a block. In fact, I haven't seen something like this before, so we'll quickly investigate. Hope there's an easy entrance. Which there is. Seems to be the base of a ruined tower or something. With a lot of stuff in here. Feeble Hardy. Oh, so it's not great for damage. Uruk Steel. Interesting. Some other stuff. Gold, Uruk Steel, Silver and Silver. Nice. That was kind of a good, useful thing to find. That's kind of cool. Uh, bear in mind to check them. Because they seem to have lots of stuff in them. Let's eat some lembas. And yeah. As for Lego Lord of the Rings. Uh, I'm making great progress with that. I've almost finished the two towers section of the story. And I have daily episodes of that. Queued up. So far for like a week in advance. Which is brilliant. Because I just sit down and play that game. In a huge block of like two or three hours get it just banging out missions and then editing uh, chopping it up and editing each miss it, uh, mission and uploading it and scheduling it for daily release and yeah that's definitely going well that's going very well I'm really enjoying that and I can't wait to start completing the levels 100% completing the game 100% and then I'll move on to Lego the Hobbit which should be great fun as well that was a good game as well Although I really don't remember much of Lego The Hobbit. Because I don't think I played it that much in comparison to Lego The Lord of the Rings. Because Lego The Lord of the Rings, I played non-stop for ages. I remember it being the first Lego game that had voices in it, if I'm correctly. Or at least the first one I got that had voices in it rather than just um, uh, like noises that they'd make. Because they just took the voice, the voice lines from the films and put them in. And it worked so well. And um, I remember that being so cool at the time. And it had all this new stuff. Like a really big explorable world. And um, all this stuff like. Uh, uh, treasure trove. And treasure uh, mithril items. Blacksmith items. All this new stuff. And it was like. Before that the ones I played like the Lego Star Wars ones. You're always confined to either Moss Eisley Cantina and Free Roam or. Um, the Separatist and Republic ships in the Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars. Indiana Jones, there was a limited range of places you could go in free roam. Like all the other Lego games. And then Lord of the Rings came out with this huge map at the time. For a Lego game, that is. And just allowed you to free roam the world of Middle Earth that had been shrunk down to be <laughs> Lego gameable. So it was like you'd be stood in Edoras. And like, you could see like a hundred meters from you is just Minas Tirith, but it's cool because everything's in the right place relative to each other. Everything's just been shrunken down loads, which I think is really cool. And I mean, it's really fun just to explore the world 
on a much smaller basis because this exploring the world is like everything's to scale everything's huge and really far out it's like a proper big world and then on lego lord of the rings everything's really small and together and really really fun to do quick like trips between places follow the route that the uh, fellowship to, uh, took in the story and then go through and do like build those adventures but not obviously be able to reach the locations that weren't made for it like the lonely mountain and stuff because that's lego the hobbit but yeah it's such such fun to do and i can't i can't wait to be doing the free roam aspect of the completion so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the levels, then I'm going to go through, and when I've done all the levels, start uh, attempting to complete the levels 100% from the start. And I don't think I'll be able to do all of that, purely because you know, some of the things you need to purchase characters for and stuff. So I may like take a break and go, right, these are the characters I need in order to do 100% of the levels, let's go and find them and purchase them then we will start completing the level so I think one of them is like the orc bombardier who has the um, uh, explosives to blow up silver bricks which seem to be on every level pretty much but no one's able to blow them up apart from this guy or when you get the mithril uh, bomb design or something something like that it's like mithril fireworks or something stupid and um, yeah, I don't know when that comes in in the level, or whether it's a free roam blacksmith design to find. I have no idea. So I think the safest bet is to go find the orc bomber and just use him in levels. Because you have access to all the characters in levels, I'm pretty sure. So that's changed. But there will be, yeah, no doubt you'll be, I'll be able to complete all the levels 100%. And I mean... I don't know whether I'll be able to get True Adventure on all of them. Unless I get a stud multiplier or something. But you get them from quests rather than in the levels. Which is kind of a bit... Eh. So I need to do that in free roam. Which, you know, isn't a bad, isn't a bad thing. I can't wait to do that. And I, I'm just rambling to sort of fill the space because there's not a lot happening in this. But I mean, that's what that series is for. It's just rambling is what this series is for. Rambling about other things on the channel. And whoa, is that a hill? Where are we? Oh, that's a big hill. For the middle of the Lone Lands. I wasn't quite expecting to see terrain this huge in the Lone Lands. Definitely wasn't expecting that. Wait a minute, is this? No, it's not the last bridge yet. God, I thought the last bridge would be much bigger than this little thing. This... Thankfully, this isn't the last bridge. This is the second to last bridge. This is the penultimate bridge. This is the penultimate bridge. And then we'll go over the last bridge. And then realise, oh wait, no, there is another bridge. Oh no, no, there is another bridge. Oh, another bridge, another bridge, another bridge. And another bridge. So realistically, that is the last bridge there. Because there aren't any other bridges on this road. But no, no, this one up ahead's called the last bridge. Maybe they mean the last bridge of the Lone Lands. Even then, is it is it the last bridge of the Lone Lands? Okay, I'll give it that. It is the last bridge of the Lone Lands. But still. <laughs> they should add that in the title of the bridge. The last bridge of the Lone Lands. There are other bridges. And there's a camp up ahead. Looks to be a ranger camp, hopefully. Get me some arrows. Hopefully as well, yeah. Keep hearing orcs. I think they're in caves under the roads. They must be. But yeah, I really hope I'll be able to get some arrows easy. Because yeah, it is a ranger camp. It's just a bit of an awkward ranger camp. But I hope... Hope this yields me lots of arrows because I will be very thankful to come in and steal all of your provisions. Four arrows, good, good start. No arrows, bad, bad start, but we got some food. Right, we got more stuff. Hello. No arrows, very, very bad chest. 
No arrows again. So we got four arrows from this camp. I mean, it'll do. It'll do indeed. Hopefully when we get to Lothlorien, there will be plenty of arrows considering all, all the elves there. I mean, we should have really stocked up on loads of arrows when we were back in Linden. Like, huge amounts of arrows, but... Can't all be good. Is this the last bridge? No. This is... No, so that wasn't even the penultimate bridge. This is then the penultimate bridge. Unless there's another bridge further on. So this is temporarily the penultimate bridge of the Lone Lands. And hopefully we'll find the last bridge soon. And we won't find another penultimate bridge. So we don't have to rename that one. Right, we're out we're out in the stretch of the land now. Seems to be another ruined house over there. So my gut instinct is to check it for arrows. And I hope whoever lived here used a bow, because arrows are what I need. No, they didn't. They had poison and a compass. Brilliant. Just drop me arrows from the sky. Just anything. Just arrows is what I need. So all I need is arrows. Well, this last bridge was further away than I thought it was. There may well be a penultimate bridge, like another one. No, I, th I think we're well and truly almost over. Then from the last bridge, we'll take it northeast up into Troll Shores. And then down over the river into Rivendell. In fact, I should probably take it over the ford of Druinen. Why am I just struggling to say that? I literally just listened to the bit where it was the ford of Bruinen and it was Frodo and uh, on Glorfindel's horse. Like, come on, I literally just listened to that like five minutes ago. And I couldn't, well not five minutes ago because I've done this video for 37 minutes. But no, lo uh, less than that, uh, longer than that ago I mean. So yeah, should have stayed in my mind. But it does look like we are coming up upon the last bridge relatively soon. Which is good. And then next episode there will be plenty of time to go to Troll Shores. I think, yeah, I think this will be uh, called the last bridge. Just because so, that's been the topic of most of the conversation this episode. Is the last bridge. So... I think when we get on the bridge, I'll take a thumbnail. <laughs> Say, well, there's the thumbnail, and it's going to be called The Last Bridge, because that's a really enticing title that everyone would really click on. Of course it isn't. The most enticing title I've used for a Lord of the Rings series was um, Taming Gollum. And, I mean, that's, I mean, since it had Gollum in it, it was like, oh, my God, yeah, this is the best video ever. we got to watch it. So it got the most views out of all of them. So hopefully when we tame Gollum this time, the same similar fate will occur, but more people watch the entire series than just stick around. Because the amount of people who have watched my Lord of the Rings series... I mean, the first episode of this series, the Overhill one, has got over 100 views, which is brilliant in my opinion. That's, that's gone really well, and we're going to ignore the Ranger camp as if we never saw it. Because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to get over this last bridge. And that is a hill and a half. What is it with the hills just suddenly appearing out of nowhere? Wow, that's a big hill. I seem to remember Troll Shores being quite hilly. I mean, the last time I went to it was a good year and a half ago, probably, or a good year ago at least. Yeah, at least it's a good year ago since I've been to Troll Shores in this mod, so it's a good year and a half, probably. Minimum a year, maximum two years, I'd say. I remember when I first did the Lord of the Rings series. And it lasted a few episodes. I think I made it made it to the dwarves or something in the Blue Mountains. And then I stopped because I didn't want to do Lord of the Rings anymore. Or something ridiculous like that. Or I lost the world or something. And then I brought it back. And it went really well. No, I remember one day... Is this the last bridge? Oh, it is. That's a good screenshot. 
houses and stuff in the background. Uh, but yeah, I bought it back and I recorded the first episode of it. And then I deleted it because I didn't want to do Lord of the Rings just yet. It turned out really bad, the episode. It was really laggy. And my voice sounded awful in it. So then I went ahead and left it for a couple more months. Then I recorded the first episode of the last Lord of the Rings series, the one that did really well. And yeah, and then that was really good. Tom Bombadil again. How many Tom Bombadil books do we have? Five. Wow. Hopefully he's not going to see us. But yeah, um, yeah, and then that ended sadly, really sadly, in fact, on the on the fact that um, I lost the world when I ported my stuff over, and I remember you guys voting for what I should do with that series. Should I end it, or should I continue it on a new world, or should I just, uh, or should I spawn everything back in as it was? And continue as I was going and I remember it was about half and half uh, no it was no one wanted me to spawn everything back in and just continue um, about like a good third third of people wanted me to um, start again and uh, start afresh and then about two thirds of people wanted me to uh, stop and just focus on my other series. So I did that for a while. And then I really miss Lord of the Rings. Hello, Goss. Mm. But yeah, then I really ended up missing Lord of the Rings. So I was like, I'm going to have to bring it back. And uh, by that time, I looked at the poll just to double check. Why is that Ranger Outpost made of different material? Anywho. Um. Yeah, uh, we need to start heading north, northeast off road. And it was like um, by that time the poll had gone to sixty percent wanted me to start again, or something like that. So I was like, well, if enough people want it, I may as well do it, because it seems like a thing people now want. Uh, because I did only give people twenty four hours to do that poll, and obviously not everyone's going to watch the video in twenty four hours. So people who voted on it later, um, I then took their considerations into mind and decided a few months later to start Overhill. And I remember, I didn't want to just call it Lord of the Rings mod season 2. Or it would have been season 3, but I discount the first one. So it would have, I didn't want to call it Lord of the Rings mod season 2. I just wanted to call it something different, so I called it Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod Overhill. Which uh, I was just like, yeah, that's a good name, because Overhill is over here in the Shire and I just remember that vividly and I remember um, it from somewhere else I can't remember I can't remember where but I just remember Overhill it stuck in my mind and I was like yeah I could call it Overhill and I was like well if I think of anything better I'll call it that if not I'll just call it Overhill and I never ended up thinking of anything better so I was like right Overhill it is and yeah, that's that's because I had a couple things in mind to of what to call it. So I was going to call it "Not All Those Who Wander Are Lost," and then I thought that's a bit of a long title. And then I was like going to call it something like "Over Hill and Under Tree," and then I realised that's a bit of a long title. So I was like, "Well, should I go for Over Hill or should I go for Under Tree?" And I was like, "Well, Over Hill has a nice ring to it, and it's a place in the Shire." And most of the time, I'm just sort of clambering over hills and just seeing what happens. And it just sort of stuck after that. I really hope we don't have too much trouble getting into troll shores. Because how far away are they? They're still quite far away, but there's all this terrain to attempt to traverse. But yeah, that's, that's how this series got its name. And since then, it just sort of stuck. And it just stayed, which I'm glad about, because it's a good name. All right, let's smack up this woman. Got an Angmar, lucky, handy Angmar battle axe. We don't need that. I don't want a battle axe from Angmar. An Angmar axe. That will definitely go good. Considering I don't have an axe anymore. So it's becoming night time, so. 
This Angmar Fortress is going to serve me well, I reckon, as a temporary home. And they have arrows on them, of course. Good, brilliant. Alright. It's got walls around, I'm protected. It's almost night, come on, come on sun, you know how to set, there we go. And I'll camp out in here for the night. Of course there's never anything that goes on in the night because, you know, Minecraft doesn't like to show the nights, but, which I'm glad of, because if I just stayed, stayed there camping out all night and stopping, I mean, it would be quite, quite bad. So I'm still heading northeast. Yeah. Over to that ranger tower over there. Started going northwest. Oops. Yeah, northeast is where I want to go. Up into Troll Shores. And hopefully next episode, Troll Shores will be the main feature of the episodes. Because I remember, people like trolls as well. If there's trolls in the title and in the thumbnail, people just seem to click it. Which is good. And why is this ranger tower made of this white wood? I mean, it looks great. But I don't see any white wooded trees around. Or maybe I do. Maybe I'm just missing it. Looks nice. Came up here to water skins. Right, well, let's, let's jump down. And let's head out. Yeah. So... That was a noise. I love uh, cutting cross country off the path a lot of the time. It's very nice. It's a nice thing to do. Do it in real life as well if I can. If I'm going somewhere and there's like a footpath and I'm in the countryside, I'll cut off and go off road a bit just because I can. Unless I get yelled at by people on quad bikes who own farms going you can't be here this isn't the footpath and I'm just like am I really doing that much damage and like yeah it's not fun because I, I live in a I live in a house in the middle of a load of fields on the very edge of a small nature reserve and that nature reserve is just completely forested and um, so when I'm trying to go up into the forest so like I don't want to enter through the footpath the same way every single time and go from there so I try to like skirt around the edge and go in from different angles when I do and then if I'm found on the f like on the edge of the fields it's just like you know you can't be here what is that certainly looks interesting and then I'm just like fine go back to the footpath and start over again but I've pretty much explored every single part of this land that I can and there's not really that much interesting around that's an interesting house and exploring's been very much a thing I love to do everywhere. So, um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Ever since I was little, I moved like to this area uh, when I was three years old, and since then it's been explore everything you can everywhere in the local vicinity and find stuff out that you didn't know. And that's that's gone well. I've been enjoying doing it, and then now. I've explored everywhere here, it's like, fine, what can I explore next? Let's think, uh, the Lord of the Rings world in Minecraft, let's explore that. Uh, but instead of uh, exploring it properly, let's uh, only uh, explore the good bits. Like, only and only explore and record the good bits. That's what I did last series. It's like I'd cut out a hell of a lot of exploring and just not pay attention to it. Or I'd like uh, use the waypoints and fast travel to them just to skip out a load of running because I'm lazy. Or I was lazy, I should say. And yeah, just le like, so say I was traveling along the Lone Lands here, I would have uh, started at like gone a little bit and then for my next progress update, maybe teleport to Weathertop's waypoint and fast travel there. And then I'd uh, record around there a little bit, and then I'd teleport myself to the last bridge. And then I'd run a little bit, I'd run this way up into Troll Shores, and then it record there, and then teleport myself to the Troll Shores waypoint, record there. You know, you get the idea. Because it was just so much easier than uh, doing what I'm doing now, which is running everything. But now that I'm forcing myself by recording everything to run everywhere. It's been it's really nice just to appreciate the terrain generation of everywhere in the world. 
you know, in, in a certain in a certain vicinity, you know, because you're not going to cover every single bit of ground in this just because of how big it is. But you know, exploring, you know, a lot of it on foot, bits you wouldn't have seen before, the main bits around the road, going off road for parts as well. You know, it's nice, and we are right on the edge of Troll Shores. In fact, I think we're gonna enter Troll Shores, and instead of using the last bridge as the thumbnail, I think we're gonna use trolls. Because people like trolls, meaning people will click the video. Roast mutton. Let's have a look round. Seems rather pleasant to me. That's cool. It's like there are like deer down there. In fact, I haven't seen any trolls. It makes me think that they only come out during the night. Which would make sense because they turn to stone during the day. So, you know, we'll run. It's just becoming daytime. So we'll have to remember not to sleep. We will have to remember not to sleep. And I've got nine more minutes to go. So hopefully uh, it'll turn night time during that time. I'm hoping anyway. So we can see some trolls. Because Troll Shores is a big place. And we'll be able to arc it over down into Rivendell. So yeah. We're going to be in Troll Shores for quite a while. I'm still going to think. whole of next episode probably is going to be in Troll Shores. In fact, maybe I'll save the troll thumbnail for the next episode, considering how much of it is going to be spent in Troll Shores. But it's actually seeming like quite a nice place, Troll Shores. I certainly don't remember it being this hospitable. Maybe that's because we haven't got to night time and there aren't trolls everywhere yet. Sort of big lake, which we're going to go around the outside of. Yeah, it's nice. I hope I don't have to batter too many trolls. Because, you know, that would be bad. Kind of want to see one turn to stone, though, and carry around his stone carcass. That would be fun. Because we already have a warg skin rug. Does it still say belong to Gandalf? No, it doesn't. Maybe it got removed during the April Fool's thing. But we have a warg skin rug, which is cool. Because if we ever like find a place that we want to settle down and make our own, at some point in the series, we'll have like decorations and stuff to do so. But yeah, that, that is what the future holds, and we will never know what actually comes of it. Because you know, this series could end up like the last two series, where I thought I'd finish them, and for some reason I couldn't. Or it could just be done until it's completely over. And like a couple of years from now I could be just saying like goodbye to you guys from the very depths of the Farharad jungle down there. After having been everywhere down through Harad. Oh god, imagine, I think crossing the desert and the semi-desert is going to be really good fun. That's going to be... A long way to go but it's when we reach the horn of harad is where i'm gonna end the end the series off i think because that would be a really cool place to end it just a massive trek across the entirety of middle earth and make it to the horn of harad and just start sailing off south and i know that'd be a bit of a weird place to leave it like i wouldn't have explored everything and everything but i would have explored most things just made this almighty trek south like, I would have missed stuff like Atumno and the pits of that place. And, like, some of the lesser biomes and stuff. But, like, then we can start up the series again. Do a different format. Maybe a co-op format and stuff. And it would be quite cool. Quite cool to do indeed. But, yeah. Certainly disappointed not to have seen any trolls yet. But you know, these lakes have been annoying. 
I mean, where's the sun? I think we found it. Yeah, it's just gone midday. So I think we have found a suitable place to end the episode. You know, set up camp, etc. Which is this stone fortress here. Pop ourselves in here. Look around for the chest. There is one. Which I hope there is. Yes, there is. Good. Arrows are always good to see. Another Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Not that we need that. Crossbow bolts and yeah. Right, well, we've got six Tom Bombadil books now. A place to end off the episode. And we have made it relatively far into Troll Shores. So if we continue following this edge along, then we go out and down into Rivendell. That would make quite a nice place to leave it before we go up into the Misty Mountains and the High Pass. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.